Hello, Better Today friends. I am Kublai Milian, an artist from Mindanao. Let me introduce you to my art. I, I am known in Davao as a crazy crazy artist, a mad artist. Uh, now you can freely talk to me, but back then, if you look at my past, um, there's a whole building uh, that manifests that craziness, the sponsor suites. Now, if you walk through that, that was my darkest years. And I think art was my healer. Art was my, my became my, my, my constant companion and in those dark years um, uh, I th art never left me my, my, my process became the artwork in itself well I've been all my life and all my artistic life I have been very conscious that um, my art has to be related with um, mental health it's very important so, um, if you look at my body of works, they all communicate a certain kind of message, a certain kind of, of hope, and especially here in Mindanao where, where our communities and our island is battered with so many problems, so many issues in, 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 in our history. In Mindanao, uh, we have a different case here because of our diversity. So the artworks that, that um, I produce are always um, uh, interreligious, interfaith, and they they convey a certain kind of uh, uh, message with that that is linked to peace and happiness and and love. So that is why. Um, in order for, for this island to come to terms with itself, uh, I've been creating huge monuments that, that speak of those values. The thing with, with uh, me as an artist, I've been surrounding myself with art. My house is covered with art. Uh, all the walls and floors and ceilings are covered with art. If they study uh, homes of artists, um, they're probably the, the happiest people during those pandemic. We are mad artists in this mad world, but, but we're probably the sanest ones. Personally, I keep on pushing for art as um, an important element in society. Be because we are surrounded by art at home, uh, we are happier. We, we, we look at um, even the process of the making of, of the artwork has become uh, quality time. To, to express emotions not just on, on the personal level but on, 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 on what's happening with the world. Now more than ever, we get to value family and community because of what happened with, with the pandemic. That's why um, the, the kind of art that we've been pushing is, is a kind of a, of a collective art. Especially like, like here in Mindanao, we've been trying to gather artists during the pandemic and we were kind of creative by, by helping the artists showcase their works in, in a different platform. Like through virtual galleries and virtual museums, we're still able to share our art and share our views and our innermost thoughts because I think it's, it's important for, for society to to look at art from the perspective of those who have been empathic with the world. Art has become my weapon. I, um, I've been reaching out to communities, to those who have been uh, battered by typhoon, those who are, are uh, orphans. I've been helping them uh, by, by teaching art. And art, if you, you, you use it right, you can actually manifest your dreams through that form. So, but as 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 I go along in as I as I grow older in my art process, I have realized that um, in 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 the 
deep process of creating art it's very important to to use art as a as a tool to connect to connect with earth to connect with it, with people to connect with each other um, during this uh, a year of pandemic i have continually been working so hard because i still believe that art is such a powerful tool for for healing and for for connecting our our relationship with earth and and the the, the world mo connect ka pero ma detach ka kay wa ka kaugat so the the the, the main kuang gid nako is rootedness mga wala na ego our, our communities in 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 deeper like like sa mga tribo sa mga bukid wa sila mga ego because they're connected and they're rooted mo na ang akong take lang unta ani but but it seems it's such a huge uh, issue to, to handle. Your, your rootedness is your source of happiness. I always go back to the source and know where the source is. So the fountain of, of life will always be flowing through me. So that's, that's what I do. I hope others could find that, that source too and, and connect to that source. Because that source is always giving, it's always breathing oxygen, clean air, and, and overflowing na, uh, bounty from nature. So, hindi siya, hindi man tumigil sa, the, the world did not stop from giving. It's just us humans. So, we should connect to that kind of source. No, no wonder I've been very prolific because my source is endless as an artist.